right? Mm-hmm. But we can try. That attitude. Mm-hmm. Hey, Carrie. Mm-hmm. What did the cornbread say when he received a compliment? I don't know. Oh, shucks. <laughs> shucks. I get it. <laughs> that was cute. Welcome back to Bone Up a Kid, where we make all of your dreams in the kitchen come true. Well, the holiday season is upon us again, so I'm making one of everyone's favorite sides here in the South, cornbread casserole. This starts with a full eight and a half ounce package of Jiffy corn mix. You're gonna need a can of kernel corn, which you're gonna strain. You're gonna need a can of cream corn, eight ounces of sour cream, most of a stick of melted butter, and two eggs. Now that's the traditional recipe. We're taking it to the next level with a pinch of cayenne pepper, some fresh garlic, some serrano peppers, some green onions, and we're gonna to top it off with some cheddar cheese. This is a really easy and convenient recipe. You can make in a jiffy. That you can make in a jiffy. This recipe starts by preheating your oven to 350 degrees, and then you're gonna crack two large eggs in a large mixing bowl. And give those a quick whisk, get them broken up. To which we add our eight ounces of sour cream, melted butter, and give that a whisk. Let's add our cornbread mix. Still under a dollar? That was 50 cents. What? Yeah, so I bought two of them. I don't think anyone even You can't actually, even get that at the dollar store. No one even makes corn muffins out of that stuff. I don't think... I don't think anyone <laughs> even uses it for its intended purpose. Green corn. And here's where we're going to divert from Grandma's cookbook with fresh garlic, green onions, three spicy serrano peppers. And we're just going to flavor it with some cayenne to taste. Mm -hmm. I'll stir that and get all your ingredients folded in. This is called Paula Dean in it, y'all. Just get you a handful of butter, <laughs> and then you rub the butter everywhere you don't see butter. <laughs> and then when everything's covered in butter, that's when you're done. <laughs> A greased cake pan. Just roll your batter out. Yeah, we want nice and thick. Give it a spin. Drop it a few times. We're gonna drop this in our oven for 30 minutes at first. I'm gonna check it with a toothpick. Apply this cheese for another 10 minutes at the end. So that's been 30 minutes. We're gonna check it with a toothpick. You can see it's still pulling up some crumbs. So it's still moist in the middle. That needs about 10, maybe 12 more minutes, which is where I'm going to top it. With shredded cheddar. Check this thing out. <gasps> Perfection. After topping this with cheese, I let it go for another 15 minutes. Now we're just going to let it set up for a few minutes before we cut it. Hey, Carrie, mm -hmm. what did the cornbread say to its mother? I don't know. Where's popcorn? <laughs> well, we can try. Mm-hmm.
Let's try our cornbread souffle casserole. Mm. This is a traditional dish that no one will miss when you bring it to your Thanksgiving table. I really like how we've taken the spiciness up with that cayenne pepper, the serranos, and the green onion. And it was so easy, I recommend you try this at home, especially with the extra cheese on top. Feel free to like, subscribe, share us around. As always, this is Bone Appetit, and God bless. Welcome back to Bone Appetit, where our oven is always preheated to 350 degrees. I've never had this before. Because you a Yankee. Mm-hmm, I'm a damn Yankee. Or a halfback, actually, because I'm halfback. New York to Florida to North Carolina. Hopeful dreamer look. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm ready to eat. Are you ready to eat? Let's eat. Um. It's a jiffy way to get. It's jiffy. a quick way to gussy up some cans of corn. <laughs> That takes me back to my old time Thanksgiving with the family. We'd all gather around and everybody bring us out. 